The first part of the, um, the checklist, which is know your environment. Uh, it's all around documentation, right? So to build a strong security program, you need to understand the environment that you're working in. Um, that's why it's important to begin by assessing your environment, documenting all of your following um, areas, assets, or elements. Um, but it's probably no surprising to most people that you know, documentation, you need to have documentation so you know what you're doing. Um, but these are some of the areas, like documenting your employees, including any established privilege levels. Contractors, what are they accessing? How are they accessing your systems and applications? External or guest users, how are they getting access to your information? Uh, you know, your networks, your servers, your applications, it seems pretty basic. Uh, why this is important? Well, we see time and time again when we're having conversations when we ask customers, hey, can you give us the latest documentation so that we can you know, do this piece of work or do this assessment? And we always get a very similar answer from you know, for the majority. It's not really up to date or we don't really have it or we're going to give us some time and we'll update it and send it to you. So it's, it's pretty clear that most organizations don't have this as a priority um, within their business to date, right? But it's super important because you need to know your assets, your information, and all the elements of your environment. So Adrian, just on that, in the event of a breach, uh, if the documentation isn't up to date, how does, how does this impact the events that follow? Yeah, so good question. So it's very important. So it's, it's probably one of the most fundamental things. If you don't know about your assets or all your information, then it's just going to make it that much harder to try and troubleshoot in the event of a cyber attack. Um, and then that's flows on to the remediation as well, because maybe not everybody's in sync with what's what's in the environment, how people are accessing the environment. So it's going to be very hard to try and you know resolve that cyber attack quickly. Right. So it's going to cause a lot more delays and stress. I hope that answered the question. Certainly did. Awesome. Um, then basically we're moving on from just the standard document documenting the environment of what's there. We need to move on to this. Yeah, depending on your situation, you know, it's also a good idea to start to document how these assets and elements interact with each other, right? Identify any potential weaknesses in assets interactions that allow users to greater access than is required. Right. So those two there is it's super important. Like how does application A talk to application B, C, D? Right, or how does system A talk to application B? Right, what are the protocols that are used and what are the permissions that are required to, to access those systems? Right, it's super important because that again will help to identify where your potential weaknesses are, uh, where you need to improve security, or in the event of a cyber attack, how you can troubleshoot and remediate quickly. Um, the next two points are probably one of the most important in this, in this section, which is around. Ensuring you have a process that for regularly updating the documentation. So that's almost like setting some time with a various individual or whether the responsibilities with an individual, a role within their business or a department. Basically setting aside, aside some time uh, to actually keep documentation updated at all times. You know, we all get stuck in sometimes the day-to-day -day operational aspects of, of our roles. Um, but Documentation is so important, especially in this cybersecurity landscape and where we are, that if you don't have that updated at all times, it's actually going to cost you a lot more money potentially in the, in the, in the future in the event of attack. So summarizing all that, ensure you have very good documentation at all times um, and ensure you have a person role or department responsible for updating the documentation.